YouTube's built-in video editor keeps getting better and better all the time. So I wanted to update this video to show you some of the latest things you could do with the YouTube built-in video editor. Now with the YouTube editor, you could edit existing videos on YouTube. So you could change the music, you could trim out the beginning, the ending, something in the middle. It has lots of different options, blurring faces. I'm gonna show you all of that in this video, but you can't do it with videos that you're just creating right now. It's not a video editor in that sense. It's for YouTube videos that are already on your YouTube channel. So to access it, click on any video that you want to make edits to, jump into that video and go to this tab called editor. Now this is not available on the mobile app at all. It's only on the desktop version at youtube.com. So inside of YouTube studios, I clicked on a video and I'm inside the editor here. Now, if you look over here, you could trim videos, you could blur a part of the video like faces, you could change the audio, which is one of the most useful options, especially if you get into issues with copyright. I'll explain that in a second. And you could change end screen and infographics all with this editor interface here. Your video is going to preview over here. And down here is what's called a timeline. So in video editing softwares, there is a video track, which is the bottom track. Then there's the audio track. That could be what you're saying or the music that you're using. And then these are some of the other things like end screen graphics that are gonna show up on this track. So you'll see the same thing with the three different tracks here. So first, let me show you some edit options for trimming the video content. So if you press trim, there's multiple different things you could do. You could first go in the very beginning of the video and let's say you wanna cut out the intro of the video or something you said in the beginning. Grab this arrow and bring it in. And the area that turns gray is actually going to be taken out of the video. You could still change your mind later on, by the way, this is not permanently deleting it, but as soon as you save this change, that part of the video will no longer be available on youtube.com or the YouTube mobile app. The next option you have is you could do the exact same thing with the end of the video. So a lot of times, if you, for example, say something at the end you don't wanna keep, you could do the same thing and drag this in. Now, if you try to do this to the ending and you have end screen graphics, you will get an error saying elements must be visible for at least five seconds. So make sure you delete these if that's what you wanna do. Then sometimes you wanna cut out a middle section. So to do that, you just go to the section where you want to start and edit, go down here and press split. So then it creates a cut point and then take the section this way. Let's say I wanna cut out this section so this section will no longer be part of the video. Now all this you still have to save and I'll show you that in a second. So let's say I wanted to split another section. I could go over here, press split, and this time I wanna cut out this portion of the video. So now this gray area and this gray area, as soon as you save it, will no longer be part of the video. That's how you take out something from the middle of the video. So beginning, end, and middle, those are your trimming options. Now, you could clear all, that will remove everything. You could preview it, just to make sure everything's right. Now, once you do that, you will get a save option over here. So if you press save, it will actually save the edits on top of this existing video. So make sure you press save here if you want to make those changes permanent, and it will take a little bit of time for those to take effect. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and discard changes since I don't wanna do that to this specific video here. Now the blurring option is really useful. So you could blur faces, for example. So it's gonna do a face detection. It will detect every face that showed up in the video. So you could use it to blur specific faces. This is useful if you didn't have permission, for example, to have someone in your YouTube videos and you wanna blur their face. So these are all the different faces you found in my video. So I could select all of them or that specific face I wanna blur and apply a blur. Again, this is very, very useful if you don't have permission to use someone's face in your video. There's also another option called custom blur. With this one, you could actually select this right here. And let's say I wanted to blur this part of the video, I can move it over here and it will select that part of the video from this blue point forward to the end of the video. And I could extend this out if I want to. So this comes in really, really handy. You could do a tracking object. That means it's gonna try to keep track that object if it's a moving object, like a license plate, for example. Or if you're doing a screen capture and you have something that you don't want people see, seeing like your email, you could do a fixed blur position if nothing is moving within the image. So those are really useful over here. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one, but you could do multiple different blurs in the same video. 
Next, let me show you the audio option. And the audio option comes in really handy, especially when you use music you don't have permission to use and you may get a copyright claim on that. You could actually replace that portion of the video with another audio file here, okay? So if you go to this audio tab, what you could do here is listen to a bunch of these audio tracks that YouTube has inside of the audio library. Now this is YouTube's own library, right? So you know you have permission to use it, but it's very limited and the quality is not quite where I like for my videos. So I use a different platform that I'll show you in a second. So I never really get into these type of copyright issues. But what you could do, especially if you do get the copyright claim is you could go right here to this section and press play, listen to a song. And then if you like that song, press add. And what it's gonna do is it's going to add that music right here underneath your existing audio. So this is me just talking with some music, right? It could be a combination of both. But this blue track is this new audio track that I just got from YouTube. And you could trim this down. So if you just wanted to basically cover up this portion of the video, only the blue portion is gonna be audible. This gray portion is not going to be audible. You could also press this adjust mix levels. If it's at 100% like you see here, it's gonna dominate the video, meaning the audio that was there before, it could be you talking or another music, is basically gonna disappear. This is gonna override that. But if you take it all the way to zero here, it's basically gonna blend the two. So it's gonna take the background sound, so that's me talking, and it will become background music. You could also do this with multiple tracks, by the way. So if I wanted to add another one and add this maybe right after this one ends or another portion of the video and even trim this one down, I have the same option and this gets its own mix. So if I want it to be background music, I'll take it all the way back. If I want it to dominate and write over the existing audio, again, I will go all the way up. So if you have copyright claims on your video, find a portion where you have it, find a song you want, put it here, and make sure the audio is full up. Now, if you're talking at the same time as the music, unfortunately, there's no way to kind of separate those two, so it will overwrite you talking on that segment, but you could also use the trim option and just take that section out entirely if this is not solving your problem. That also solves the copyright claim if you just take out that portion of the video that I showed you with the trimming option. Now, if you're having issues with audio tracks, what I recommend is just using these type of platforms. This is one of my sponsors that sponsors lots of my videos, including this one called Invato Elements. And Invato Elements has royalty-free audio tracks and it has hundreds of thousands of them. So it's much easier to use a platform like this. And it has a lot of search options here that YouTube, for example, is not going to have to let you find exactly what you're looking for and the exact type of music, and they're very high quality. And this is an unlimited, all you can download type of platform. You subscribe per month, you could download as much as you want, you just press download, and then you'll have to actually use this when you make your videos. You cannot bring this into the YouTube editor. I just wanted to mention this because I always use this so I never get into copyright issues to begin with, so I don't have to change my audio in the way that I showed you. This platform, by the way, has other things too, so you could get your photos. There's over 4 million stock photos here. You could get video, stock video. So I use a combination of stock photos, stock videos, and these royalty-free music tracks to really tell a complete story with my videos, and then I could just publish it without having to worry about any copyright claims. But if you do get into that issue, again, the YouTube editor, just like I showed you, is gonna solve your problem. So I hope you found this video useful, and I'll catch you next time.